Hi everyone, um, it's Mrs. Kinsman. I want to uh, share with you a special book for Pink Shirt Day. And as you all know, Pink Shirt Day is an anti-bullying day that was started by children. So I think that makes it much more valuable than ones that are started by adults. Um, Pink Shirt Day this year is February 23rd, 4th, <laughs> thanks, <laughs> which is um, this coming Wednesday. So we've done a little video of read me reading this new book that I found called The Boy, the Mole, the Fox, and the Horse. And it's all about being kind to one another and caring for one another. And at Eric Harvey School, those are our primary messages. So I hope you enjoy the book on Pink Shirt Day. Don't forget to wear pink. The Boy, the Mole, the Fox, and the Horse by Charlie Mackesy. This book is dedicated to my lovely kind mum and my wonderful dog, Dill. Hello. You started at the beginning, which is impressive. I usually start in the middle, and I never read introductions. This is an introduction. It's surprising that I've made a book because I'm not good at reading them. The truth is, I need pictures. They are like islands, places to get to in a sea of words. This book is for everyone, whether you are 80 or 8. I feel like both sometimes. I'd like to be the... Uh, I'd like this book to be one you can dip into anywhere, anytime. Start in the middle if you like. Scribble on it, crease the corners, and leave it well thumbed. The drawings are mainly of a boy, a mole, a fox, and a horse. I'll tell you a little bit about them, although I'm sure you'll see things here that I don't, so I'll be quick. The boy is lonely when the mole first surfaces. They spend time together gazing into the wild. I think the wild is a bit like life, frightening sometimes, but beautiful. In their wanderings, they meet the fox. It's never going to be easy meeting a fox if you are a mole. The boy is full of questions. The mole is greedy for cake. The fox is mainly silent and wary because he's been hurt by life. The horse is the biggest thing they have ever encountered, and also the gentlest. They are all different like us, and each has their own weaknesses. I can see myself in all four of them. Perhaps you can too. Their adventures happen in springtime, where one moment the snow is falling, and the sun shines in the next, which is also a little bit like life. It can turn on a dime. I hope this book encourages you, perhaps, to live courageously with more kindness for yourself and for others, and to ask for help when you need it, which is always a brave thing to do. When I was making this book, I often wondered, who on earth am I to be doing this? But as the horse says, the truth is, everyone is winging it. So, I say spread your wings and follow your dreams. This book is one of mine. I hope you enjoy it, and much love to you. Thank you, Charlie. Hello. I'm so small, said the mole. Yes, said the boy, but you make a huge difference. What do you want to be when you grow up? Kind said the boy. What do you think success is? asked the boy. To love, said the mole. Well, hello. Do you have a favorite saying? asked the boy. Yes, said the mole. What is it? If at first you don't succeed, have some cake. Oh, I see. Does it work? Every time. Just a tiny taste. Uh-oh. I got you a delicious cake, said the mole. Did you? Yes. Where is it? I ate it, said the mole. Oh. But then I got you another. Did you? Where is that one? Mm, the same thing seems to have happened, said the mole. What do you think is the biggest waste of time? asked the boy. Com 
comparing yourself to others, said the mole. I wonder if there is a school of unlearning. Most of the old moles I know wish they'd listen less to their fears and more to their dreams, said the mole. What is that over there? asked the boy. It's a wild, said the mole. Don't fear it. Imagine how we would be if we were less afraid. Mm. I'm not afraid, said the mole. If I wasn't caught in this snare, I'd kill you, said the fox. Well, if you stay in that snare, you will die, said the mole. So the mole chewed through the wire with his tiny teeth. One of our greatest freedoms is how we react to things, said the mole. Mm, that's a nice heart. I've learned how to live in the present. How? asked the boy. Oh, I find a quiet spot and I shut my eyes and I breathe. Well, that's good. And then? And then I focus. What do you focus on? Cake, said the mole. Isn't it odd? We can only see our outsides, but nearly everything happens on the inside. Oh, be careful not to fall. Oh. Oh. Hmm. So much beauty we need to look after. Being kind to yourself is one of the greatest kindnesses, said the mole. We often wait for kindness, but being kind to yourself can start now, said the mole. Often the hardest person to forgive is yourself. Sometimes I feel lost, said the boy. Oh, me too, said the mole, but we love you and love brings you home. I think everyone's just trying to get back home, said the mole. Hello? 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 Hmm. Doing nothing with friends is never really doing nothing, is it? asked the boy. No, said the mole. You fell, but I've got you. Everyone is a bit scared, said the horse, but we are less scared together. Tears fall for a reason, and they are your strength, not your weakness. What's the bravest thing you've ever said? asked the boy. Help. When have you been at your strongest? asked the boy. When I have dared to show my weakness. Asking for help isn't giving up, said the horse. It's refusing to give up. Sometimes I worry that you'll all realize I'm ordinary, said the boy. Love doesn't need you to be extraordinary, said the mole. We all need a reason to keep going, said the horse. What's yours? You three, said the fox. Getting home, said the boy. Cake, said the mole. Oh, I discovered something better than cake. No, you haven't, said the boy. I have, replied the mole. What is it? A hug. It lasts longer. Nothing but nothing beats kindness, said the horse. It sits quietly beyond all things. Sometimes, said the horse. Sometimes what? asked the boy. Sometimes just getting up and
carrying on is brave and magnificent. <gasps> How do they look so together and perfect? asked the boy. There's a lot of frantic paddling going on beneath, said the horse. The greatest illusion, said the mole, is that life should be perfect. Ooh, is that the moon, asked the boy. It's a tea stain, said the mole, and where there's tea, there's cake. Be curious. Life is difficult, but you are loved. So, you know all about me? asked the boy. Yes, said the horse. And you still love me? We love you all the more. Sometimes I think you believe in me more than I do, said the boy. Oh, you'll catch up, said the horse. fox never really speaks, whispered the boy. No, and it's lovely that he is with us, said the horse. To be honest, I often feel I have nothing interesting to say, said the fox. Being honest is always interesting, said the horse. There is something I haven't told you, said the horse. What's that? asked the boy. I can fly. But I stopped because it made the other horses jealous. Well, we love you, whether you can fly or not, said the boy. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Is your glass half empty or half full? asked the mole. You know, I think I'm grateful just to have a glass, said the boy. We don't know about tomorrow, said the horse. All we need to know is that we love each other. And when the dark clouds come, keep going. When the big things feel out of control, focus on what you love right under your nose. This storm will pass. And after the storm, be you. We have such a long way to go, sighed the boy. Yes, but look how far we've come, said the horse. Sometimes I want to say I love you all, said the mole, but I find it difficult. Do you? said the boy. Yes, yeah, so I say something like, I'm glad we're all here. Okay, said the boy. I'm glad we're all here, and we are so glad you are here too. What's your best discovery? asked the mole. That I'm enough as I am the boy. I've realized why we're here, whispered the boy. For cake, asked the mole. To love, said the boy. And to be loved, said the horse. What do we do when our hearts hurt, asked the boy. Oh, we wrap them with friendship, shared tears and time, till they make us hopeful and happy again. Do you have any other advice? asked the boy. Don't measure how valuable you are by the way people treat you, said the horse. Always remember you matter. You're important and you're loved and you bring to this world things no one else can. Home isn't always a place, is it? said the boy. Thank you. the end. Or, look how far we've come. Sometimes all you hear about is the hate, 
but there is more love in this world than you could possibly imagine. This book is about friendship. Just take this one step. The horizon will look after itself.